Once again, we find that Dr. Luke really knows how to pack a powerful punch and in including so much in this chapter. But one of the things that I find so interesting in this chapter is that Jesus really does clarify for us the cost of following him. Now we know salvation is free. We know that the gift of God in salvation is a free gift that's freely received. Yet we also recognize that the path of discipleship is a disciplined life. Not a life that's led by discipline to earn salvation, but because we have salvation, we live a life that pleases the Lord. Because it's truly the best life, a disciplined life unto the Lord. And listen to what he says. I find this so interesting about the cost of being a disciple. Jesus says in the 26th verse, if you want to be my disciple, you must by comparison hate everyone else. Your father, mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even your own life. Otherwise, you cannot be my disciple. And if you do not carry your own cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciple. See, here's the deal. Salvation is not about a supplement you add to your life. Jesus is not like the, the soy sauce packet for your soul. Jesus is the one who replaces life for you. He becomes the central figure. The, the Bible would put it this way, he becomes Lord of your life. And this is what the Lord says. If you're really mine, if you really want to be mine, I've gotta be number one. I, I'm not at the top of your list, I am your list. Everything you do in life comes through the filtration of Jesus is my Lord. How I, how I act as a spouse, how I father my children, how I serve in my business, how I am in my friendships, whatever it is, Jesus is Lord over all. And I've heard someone once say, and I think it's really true, you know, if Jesus isn't Lord of all, you must ask, is he Lord at all? Because that's truly what it means to follow Jesus. It's not just fire insurance, but truly, it's a surrender, heart, head, and hands over to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. But I promise you, it's truly the best life you could ever live. A life where you say, finally, it's not about me, but it's about Him. And I count my life forfeit, and everything I do is unto the glory of Jesus. Because Jesus, He's the greatest one. He's the one that rebuilds and restores. He is the one that gives life evermore.